Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaiian Real Life. We're here at the secret studio of Doug Young. This is Doug Young. He's a, a photo realist, right. photo realist, and Charles Valeroso, who's visiting from the mainland. Actually, he's from here. Um, and I wanted to talk to them because they have a uh, art showing right now at Ward Warehouse, the gallery at Ward Warehouse. And um, I used to work with Charles back in the day, back when the Earth's crust was cooling. And <laughs> And I thought, oh, it's so cool. I get to see Charles and see his work and um, catch up on what he's doing. So, um, what is this? Threads? Threads. And it's going to be showing until when? 8th, 24th, 24th. Okay. Yeah. At the Ward Center. Okay. Yeah. Award Center. Right. Oops. <laughs> the gallery of the Ward Center. Okay, cool. And then, uh, what what kind of is, are these the things that you're going to be showing? Or these are my most recent works that I uh, completed just in the last uh, two months, and um, the actual series started way back in uh, 1989. But my interest in the lower shirts go back since I was a kid. I guess my dad wore these in the 30s and 40s, and he was a musician on uh, Hotel Street back in the day. And uh, when I went to college, I found a lot of older. Um, vintage Kabi Hawaiian shirts that I thought were the ugliest things in the world, but <laughs> we used to pick them up for 25 cents and uh, I started just fooling around with um, using them as an icon and subject matter for my paintings. Wow. And they, they look like it's a real, real fabric. And exactly. Um, I try to emulate the texture, the density, the colors from that time. Um, they look sort of faded in a way. Mm -hmm. This one is more contemporary because it reflects uh, my move to California and the surfing culture of uh, California today and the uh, whole idea of nostalgia and the woodies and, you know, surfer girls. <laughs> you can tell it's from the 90s because of the bikini. They never wore those back in the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the show is going to consist of partial aloha shirts like this, and this is yours? This is one of the early ones I've done too, and um, it's uh, based on the Aloha Tower, and it's vintage from the 1940s, I would say, but uh, when I moved to Hawaii, I'm originally from Kauai, but I moved to Honolulu from finishing art school, my first studio was on uh, Pier 11 at the Aloha Tower, so this is sort of like a you know, nostalgic piece for myself, too. Yeah. yeah, called the Aloha Tower. And yeah, Aloha brand, you know. Love it. Yeah. Okay. And then these are Doug's works. Right. Yeah, these are new works um, to complement um, Charlie's works. Uh, these are done uh, recently, but I had the idea of doing these about the same time when we first showed together in the late 70s. So I'm finally getting to start this series, but it's still of the old Hawaiian silkies, but on the women's side. Ah, yeah. okay. And uh, is that a photograph? No, this, this is a watercolor and this is acrylic on paint on a canvas. Wow, so the whole yeah. art show is going to be paintings. Yeah, these are all paintings, they're not photographs. And that's why you guys are called photo realists, realists because yeah. you... Well, we use photography it? as a basis for the work, not as a subject matter, but we, we use photography as um, the matrix, we call it. You know, wow. A source of inspiration. Neat. Yeah. That's very cool. Okay. So if you want to see their work, you can go to the gallery at Ward Center. Um, this is going to be open until April 25th. And is it, what, what time is 24th. it? 24th. 24th. Yeah. <laughs> From 10 in the morning to 9 at night. Wow. And Every it, day. It's free? It's free. And you can buy these works? They're welcome to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the Sell goal. The show out. <laughs> The goal is actually to, um, by the end of the show, nothing's left. <laughs> well, you know, it, it benefits the artist directly. This particular gallery is a co-op gallery, so you, everything you buy goes directly to the artist. Oh, okay. So, wait now, the artists. So, there's more artists in this gallery? It's not yes, just you. Yes, there's a series of 15 artists, and it's a cooperative. We all pay the rent, and we all sit there. So, um, it's an artist-owned and artist manage gallery. Wow. The only one in Honolulu. Wow. For 25 that. years. That's very cool. Yeah. And Doug's been there for about over 15 years, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And they have a good following. Neat. And I'd like to add too, we have a ceramist showing. 
Yeah. Um, as of the third person in the show, so uh, his work will also be available for viewing and for sale. Cool. Okay. So check them out. Um, support the arts. And these guys are the OGs of the art world, at least in Hawaii, that I know of since, since I've been around. So um, check them out, you get to meet them and see their works in person. Again, what does OG mean? <laughs> <laughs> the old guard or old guys? <laughs> the old guys. <laughs> okay. Aloha. Aloha.